Hi YouTube, it's Lena. Uh, I apologize for sounding so decongested. I am sick. I'm still sick. I sound like a giant nose. Um, but we are here today with Boxy Charm. Actually, this is the Boxy Lux version, which I get. Uh, Boxy Lux comes every three months, and the other two months you just get the regular Boxy Charm. It is $49.99. It is not cheap. But, especially this month, I actually think it's worth it. Like, you get some really cool shit. And I'm super happy with this box this month. Maybe it's because I've been sick, I've been angry at the world. That getting a variation that not only was I not expecting... Well, it was a variation that I wanted, but I was not expecting to get it. Because I didn't think it was going to be a variation for Boxy Lux. I'll show you what it is in a minute. But, maybe it's because I was having a really bad week that... This ended up making me so happy. But first, let's go over the couple of things from last month that I actually still have because last month was a really bad box. <laughs> well, actually, the three products that I kept were really good. I just got a really bad variation. So the two products that I did not keep, I listed them on my, my subscription addiction swap site, were the lashes. BoxyCharm, please stop friggin' sending lashes. Like 90% of your people do not have lashes, do not wear lashes most of the time. And especially do not send lashes that do not come with a glue. Most of us don't have a glue. I happen to have a glue because I had to buy them because you kept sending me freaking lashes. And the other thing was the Jaunt Blue Glitter Eyeliner. And I didn't have a problem with it being a glitter eyeliner. I had a problem with it being Jaunt Blue because their eyeliners are really freaking hard. But to get into the three products that I kept, first was the FX Glitter, Cover FX Glitter Drops. These work really well on the eyes, thank God, because this is not my shade for a highlight or a mix-in at all, because it is super glittery. So putting this in like a foundation, you're gonna look like a disco ball. If that's the look you're going for, that's great. That's not the look I'm going for every day. <laughs> But uh, these actually dried really well on my eyes. They didn't disrupt the eyeshadow or anything, and they didn't make my eyeshadow crease really badly. Well, actually, they didn't make my eyeshadow crease especially bad at all, other than just its regular creasing throughout the day. Which, like I said, I'm glad because this bright gold highlight I can't wear as a highlight. I'm glad I found a use for it. I will have this the rest of my life using it like that, but it worked out really well and I'm really happy with it, so. And I don't mind wearing a lot of glitter, so it's not like I wouldn't wear this every day that I wore gold eyeshadow. I forgot to put it on today, but if I wasn't doing my makeup in a hurry so I could film. Next are these Luxie brushes, which they are really pretty. I was a little confused by these last month. They're just like an eye detailer set. I thought they were just like a regular eyeshadow brush set, but they're much more for detail and precision work. Like this one right here, I actually used on my lower lash line today and it worked really well. I've used this one on my inner corner. I have not used these two yet, but these look like they would just be like a little more detail-oriented crease style brushes. So maybe I could do like a really sharp cut crease with something like this. But uh, they're Luxie brushes. Luxie brushes are always really good. I'm always happy to have them. And finally, we have the Ace Butte Grandiose Palette, which is what I'm wearing today. This is so pretty. Let me get in close -er so you can see what the heck my eyeshadow look even is. So I am wearing prim Primrose all over the lid, a mixture of clove and cinnamon in the crease, because this was just ended up being too light for that shadow. Poppy in my outer V, and Poppy mixed with a little bit of Myrtle on my lower lash line, and Jasmine in my inner corner. Like, I used most of these colors today because I just got really into it. And Jasmine especially. Oh my god, that is so pigmented. Like, normally I'm not so obsessed with just like, you know, the kind of light champagne colored basic lid shade, but that is so bomb. I want to use that as a highlighter before I put this palette up. I would have used it more, but been sick. So I didn't get to use it as much as I would have wanted to, but from what I've used of it, I really, really like it. I've never tried any other like eyeshadows from them before, so I don't know if that's normally their formula or what. So let's get into this big mamma jamma right here. Now they do send you some kind of card with everything. The theme this month is 
Tis the Sea Sun, S E A S U N, with a little flamingo. So, woo! I hate puns. My husband uses them too much and I hate them. There are a couple of codes right here that you can use to get a little bit off on a website. Let me go into the variation that I got that I didn't think was going to be a variation that made me so happy. And that is, I got the Pretty Vulgar, the Powder Room Matte About It Translucent Setting Powder. First off, can we just say that the Pretty Vulgar has some of the best freaking packaging? Like, for real? It's so pretty. I wanted to use this today, but I was good and didn't open it and use anything out of it before I filmed this. It's, oh, it's got this little powder puff. That's so cute. I've never used it, but it's really cute. And when these do come with powder puffs, that means that they can actually hold the product in and keep it from exploding everywhere. Yeah, it just looks like there is a translucent powder inside. I'm not going to take the sticker off yet. But uh, I th the other variation on this that I thought was just going to be a variation in the regular box was either this or a cheek palette from Wander Beauty, which it looked pretty. Don't get me wrong. But... I'll go ahead and spoil it now. I already have like two palettes in here, so I didn't want a third. That was just a little much for me to be able to use over the next month along with like my Project Pan shadows and everything else. And you know, any eyeshadows that I get from any other boxes. Which I know I'm getting an eyeshadow palette from Yes Oh Yas whenever it comes in, but I was very glad because I also just wanted to try this because Despite me not really loving loose powder, um, it's very pretty. And it, this says it's matte, and if it's matte, I want to try it because I'm so oily. So I was very happy to get this. This kind of made my week. And that's a stupid thing to make your week. I will admit that. Next is one of the big ticket items that comes strictly with the Lux version of the box. This is a complete face set from Luxie Brushes, which I literally just went over some brushes, but I ain't mad at it. I will. I had complained before that so many boxes throw in brushes to kind of up the value. Because, and you don't even need to spend a ton of money on brushes. You can go get like Wet n Wild brushes for pretty cheap and Elf brushes for pretty cheap. Luxie makes some damn good brushes though. <laughs> it's hard for me to be mad to at all to get a full like face set of brushes. And of course I gotta wash all these before I use them because I'm paranoid like that. And I don't know what people in the factory touch before they touch these brushes to make them. Like I don't know if they're touching their butt or their sick self or what. But uh, we have a travel lip brush which I use lip brushes so I'm very happy about that. I know most people aren't lip brush users. I am. Do these say what they are? Yeah, they do. This is a round top blender, so uh, I would probably use that for blush, actually, but you could probably also use it to pack up powder. Oh, my brush got smushed a little. Uh, when I wash it, it'll fix it. But this is a tapered highlighter, which uh, it'll work fine for that, I'm sure. Here we have what's probably a foundation brush. Pro Precision brush, but it's got that, like, you know, Density that would make it probably make it really good for foundation And here we have a Spoolie which is always good when like our brow pencils don't come with them Or when they're like the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the spoolie breaks off I'm not bitter Here's an eye shading brush Here is a tapered blending brush. Here is a flat definer brush. They're not kidding You could do your whole damn face with this including your lips they do smell like a factory though, so I, yeah, I will most assuredly be washing these. These kind of stink. And of course, I assembled that all wrong to put it back together. Now, here's something that a lot of people weren't excited for, but I kind of am because I'm weird. This is the, who is this from? Primes of Beauty wristlet and portable charger. I don't care about the wristlet. I care about the charger inside. Like, Glam AF, yes, I am Glam AF, so I'm fine with that. But I was complaining the last round of Boxy Lux. It's like they threw in like a tote and a headband and a couple of kind of stupid things. And I don't think they really did that this time. And I'd rather get, because last time we got 11 items and this time we only got nine, but I think the items are a little bit better curated. But what I care about out of this is the little 
foot portable phone charger. And it comes with a cord that you can use to like charge it back up once you use up the battery. I have like two of these and they're always dead because I always use them and then forget to charge them for a while. So me having a third one is actually a really good idea. I mean, now I'll just have three of them that are dead half the time, but you know, maybe I'll actually remember to rotate and charge them. Let me get something that I can dig this out with so I can show you how it works. Like guys, my one complaint about this is that the getting the actual cord out is a little bit of a pain in the butt. So this is supposed to be both, is this both? Yes, this is both iPhone and Android ad adaptable. I have an Android and it does, I already tested it. It does work. So like you plug this part into your phone and then you get like a whole battery to charge back up your phone. So I will be putting this in my purse. Actually, actually, my other battery is charged up right now for once because I actually thought to do it because I got this. I was like, oh, I should go charge my other one. But I can actually use this bag to keep my you know, collection of portable batteries and keep it in my nightstand. So that's what I'll be using this bag for. This bag does smell like cheap ass leather. Not, not cheap ass leather, cheap ass fake leather. I will say that. But I'm really happy about the actual phone charger part which is where I feel the value probably actually comes from. Watch me break that in a month and be really mad next to it. It's like, I broke this, it's a piece of crap. <laughs> I'm gonna try and be careful with it. Next is a mascara. There were a couple of variations we could get. I got the Grande Mascara. This is from Grande Cosmetics. I think they're the same ones that make that serum that I tried earlier this year that unfortunately didn't do anything for me, but I tried it. This is the Lash Boosting Formula. Now this does pull out extra product, which kind of drives me crazy. It seems like it's a really wet formula, which is not my favorite. I tend to prefer drier formulas, primarily because I get wetter formulas all over my freaking face. Because I tend to apply my makeup in a hurry like a dumbass. Not because I got anywhere to go, just because I want to get it done. Because I've already spent 20 minutes on my eyes and I want to spend five minutes on the rest of it because it's so stupid. Next was a really big ticket item. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is an anti-wrinkle day cream for fine lines and wrinkles. Well, I'm 33 now, I definitely need this. I inherited pretty decent skin as far as stuff like that is concerned and being super greasy. It actually is a little bit better for things like wrinkles, but I do got some fine line nonsense going on around my eyes. One of them is just one I was born with. Like I have a deep crease under each of my eyes that I've always had it and it's always pissed me off. But I will use this even. I hope I don't get addicted to it because it's hella expensive. Yeah, this little book guy right here is $89 and I know they sell a bigger size. Because the first people thought we was getting it and they're like, no, we're getting that less than a hundred dollar one. Because this is, I think, this is one ounce. This is 30 milliliters. It smells pretty good. Like not heavily fragranced at all, which is good because you don't, you, probably, you really don't want a ton of fragrance in your skincare, especially if you have sensitive skin. My skin, I don't think is particularly sensitive. It just turns red whenever everything touches it. Just, I could touch my face right now and make it turn red. Now here's something I've never tried before, but I know a lot of other people like. This is the Spongel Blossom Bliss Beyond Cleansing Body, Infu Body Wash Infused Buffer. I think this is a scent made just for BoxyCharm because I went to look it up recently. It does smell really good. Look at it. It's a little star. It's really hard. <laughs> I've never used one of these before and I would never pay the money that they charge for this. Even though I think you're supposed to be, be able to get like 10 or 15 washes out of it. Multiple, you could use this for multiple luxurious showers. It is a body wash and buffer, so I guess that's where a little bit of the price is coming from. I, like, I don't pay as much for a body wash. I just don't. Like I'm perfectly fine with the stuff at the Dollar Tree for a body wash most of the time. Here we have the Tarte Tartist Shimmering Lip Paint. And at first I thought that this was a liquid, like a metallic liquid lipstick. And I'm like, there's no way I'm keeping this because look at that color. Cause so I was like, I can't wear that. I'd never wear that. It's a lip topper. It's a lip gloss, basically. I like how we're using the term lip topper now instead of lip gloss when they're like super glittery. So apparently people don't like lip glosses, but they like lip toppers. 
Why am I smelling it? I can't smell anything. Only really pungent things get through my sinuses right now. Like, yeah, that's just glitter, pretty much, which I like glitter. So I'm perfectly happy to play with it and try it out. I wish I could smell it. I believe their stuff is usually scented pretty nice. And finally, we have the two eyeshadow palettes. Now, one thing was we got the choice of picking out, because I thought it was really cool that they actually gave us a choice. If you had the boxy charm, you'd, I don't believe you got the option to pick it. They just sent you whichever one. But for Boxy Lux, they let us pick, and the site didn't immediately crash. I was quite impressed that I actually got to pick what I wanted. You could either pick this, or you could pick a mini hair straightener that is actually worth like 20 more dollars than this. And I thought about it, and then I was like, I want a hair straightener. I have not used it in two years. <laughs> I don't straighten my hair. I do good to blow dry my hair. I can't even find my blow dryer right now because I wanted to blow dry it earlier so that it wouldn't poof up like it's doing. But I was like, I'm not gonna use that. Let me get the palette, even though it's not worth as much. And it'll probably be something that I at least get some enjoyment out of. I have no idea if this is any good or not, so. That remains to be seen, but the, the hair straightener I was never gonna use. I would probably have used it once to test it and then never touch it again. Or I was gonna like give it away as like a gift to like my one of my nieces or something, but it's fine. They gave me the powder because I'm assuming because I picked the palettes, they gave me the powder instead of the third palette because that's where I was like, oh god, I'm gonna get three palettes. Crap. No, I got two. Anyway, this is from Suva Beauty and it is the Protege palette. It does have a big old mirror right here. And it has, I guess we could say eight eyeshadows or six eyeshadows and two highlights. But it has like a warm section and a cool section of colors, which is really cool. So let's swatch it. Here's the top row of eyeshadows. They feel a little dry, but they're pretty pigmented. Maybe not. Okay, well that's gonna blend into my freaking skin anyway. What am I doing? Okay, well Poetic basically blends into my skin, but the other two show up pretty well. Now let's do Tact, Balance, and Conscious. Uh, the dark mattes feel really dry, but they're pigmented and they seem to blend okay, at least, you know, with finger swatches, which and maybe not conscious as much, but you know, you can't really tell much by finger swatches. <laughs> we know that. Now let's try these two highlighters right here. Yeah, these are highlighters because they're not like heavily pigmented eyeshadows, so that's fine. I will experiment with that and we will see how it goes. It's honestly a very neutral palette for me. Like, not a lot of options, but it only has six eyeshadows. Of course it doesn't have a ton of options. But like I said, I picked the one that I thought I would like more. And finally, we have a Violet Voss palette. And this is the Holy Grail, or HG palette. My Holy Grail. I don't know. I've never tried Violet Voss shadows before, so I was really excited to find out that we were getting this in the Boxy Lux. And it is huge! And it, it is kind of similar to the Protégé palette, at least in the warmer tones. So, once again, very neutral, but we'll play around, we'll see. Let's try these cranberry shades down here. That's what really gets my interest. Whew! Dang! They feel really soft, too. Damn. That's not just a dang, that's a damn. Let's try Ploof. And toughy. These are good. Like, I, you can't judge by finger swatches, but they also feel real nice. And now I'm covered in eyeshadow. But uh, okay, I'm really excited. I, I'm excited to try everything in this box. Like, there's nothing that was just a pure dud for me this month. Which, considering what I paid for it, it better not be. <laughs> but I know, like, not everybody's gonna like this. I happen to really like it because my, my phone dies constantly on me while I'm out and I need these kind of things really badly. 
Of course, I'm gonna like Luxie brushes, even though that is an expensive asset. Um, I'm glad that this is a lip, like a lip topper, lip gloss thing instead of a lip, metallic liquid lipstick, or I would not have kept that. Um, I'm not 100% on this palette, but out of the two options we had, this is definitely the better one for me. I'm so happy I got the damn powder. This is something I would never pick up for myself, but I'm perfectly willing to use it and enjoy it, so yeah. Expensive ass moisturizer, I'm always down to try that. Yep, I'm very happy. So that's it. Thank you guys really for tuning in as always, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!